Hi guys, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded system. Today we are mainly discussing about on Proteus 8 Professional and also Kill Microvision and how to use these tools we are going to discuss step by step today. First we need to open this uh, Proteus 8 uh, Professional and this is a hardware simulation tool. If you want to uh, verify the, your hardware behavior uh, in real time, we can use this Proteus design okay first after opening this proteus 8 professional we need to click on this isis okay, if you want to design any hardware so that we can use this uh, design okay here if you want to take any chip from the library so that you have to go to the place component i need one of the component from the library okay here you can search whatever tool you want just uh, you can just search and take that component okay here i need 80c51 8051 microcontroller just I am clicking OK, then place it here. Okay, I got the 805 microcontroller to here. Okay, initially, as we discussed uh, in uh, in pin diagram, initially all ports are logic high. That means each port pin having the initially 5 volts. For example, if I connect any LED, it will turn on. Again, I am going to the same from library. I am importing LED. Okay, we'll uh, take any of the LED. Animated LED will take. Okay, just I am importing to the microcontroller. Okay, this anode and cathode. This is a common cathode means the cathode should be ground. I need terminal and ground. Okay, here I am just connecting my LED to the ground uh, cathode and the anode I am connecting to the port 2.0. Okay, for example, here I have interfaced my LED. Just I am running without my any program. Here I have not selected any program. Here this is my 8051 controller. Here you can select program file. File means executable. Whatever we are uh, storing our program to row memory, right? That uh, program we can select from here executable. And here I am operating my 805 microcontroller with 12 megahertz. Here if you want, change the clock frequency to the 11.0592 so that we can change it here. Okay, currently I have not flashed any program. Just I am checking the initial after the power on. I am just checking the initial behavior. Just I am turning on the. I am just running the my Proteus uh, 8 professional. Okay, initially this port 0 we don't have any pull up resistor. We cannot connect uh, to the any of the LED or LCD. Okay, if you want to use this port, we need to connect one external pull up resistor to the VCC. After that, we can use this uh, port 0. This uh, port 1. 2, 3 we can use for the initially for the already we have internal pull up directly we can use uh, for LED or LCD interfacing. Okay, just initially I have connected my LED it was glown. For example if I stop see uh, my LED is off. Again if I just uh, turn on my Proteus uh, my LED is on. Okay, initially if I understand in my pin diagram initially I explained. Okay, initially my port logic is uh, logic 1 means 5 volts. 5 volts I am giving to the uh, LED this is on for example I want to turn off the LED uh, with port 2.0 I want to send logic 0 to the port 2.0 then I need to write some program then only I can able to turn off the LED for example if I am just running this one initially this LED is turned on for example if I want to turn off this LED we need to write some specific program then we need uh, kill microvision IDE Okay, first go to the Google and just search the kill download C51. We need uh, one of the IDE integrated development environment. Go to this kill product downloads. Okay, after entering here, we need to just click on C51. Okay, this is my IDE. If you want to develop any program uh, programming, we can just use this uh, C51 uh, software. Okay, here you can just provide your details first name and last name email id and company like personal and job title also you can just mention personal and uh, here country you need to select and phone number and here you can just give the device name c51 we are currently working on just you can give that and submit and after submitting then you will get the executable from the directly from the keel okay for example i already given the uh, just already my uh, sign up details so that you will see this kind of executable okay once you have the executable just click on this then it will get downloaded after downloading to your uh, pc just copy to the d drive okay i will i have already downloaded and copy to the d, d drive and we'll see how we are going to install now and here the softwares 
here I have downloaded the C51V, the same one. Okay, 960A. Okay, same thing I have downloaded from that. And uh, here just double click on this uh, tool, this EXE. Just uh, press S. And after that, we need to press uh, Next. And we need to agree the, all the terms. Okay, next we are going to the next. Okay, here you can give your name, first name and last name. And here we need to give our company name. Here I can just uh, mention it as just personal. And here we need to give our mail ID. Okay, after that just we need to press the next. Okay, wait for the installation. Okay, after the complete install, then we are able to open the IDE integrated development environment we can uh, write the code and also uh, generate the executable from this uh, IDE and that executable we are going to flash in this uh, uh, Proteus we are, we are going to simulate in a real-time manner by using this Proteus okay here also we can just debug uh, step by step as well yeah, we will discuss step by step now okay just uh, we can see in the desktop the our keel microvision 5 will be an, uh, available okay right now i can open this and i can start working using this uh, microvision uh, 5 okay this is a microvision 5 this is also one of the ide we can write our program and also we can generate the program file from this uh, ide and also we can debug step by step for example here initially they have given one of the program just I want to write my specific program for example I want to turn off this LED initially I am just turning uh, uh, just I am running this uh, Proteus 8 initially my LED is on for example I want to turn off this LED I need to write some specific program so that I, I am just removing uh, all other contents okay these contents are not required for me and also this timers and all not required maybe later on we can discuss uh, deeply okay just i am initializing with uh, port 2 okay right now i am working on with uh, port 2 okay here just i am uh, writing with the all the logic with 00, 0. okay initially my ports uh, port 2 having the ff for example here i have saved my program yes this is for the compile Okay, if you have any uh, compilation error, it will show. For example, here I am just uh, uh, written a wrong uh, syntax. So it will show in which line you have the kind of error. Okay, this is a very useful. Just you can uh, compile also. Okay, after writing your program, you can compile whether if there are any errors, then we are going to uh, identify using this first step. Okay, this is a translate. It will convert our uh, dot C to the directly to the executable. Okay, for, uh, here the next step if i want to generate any executable the second step we can use okay for example if i want to generate executable from this code so we need to do some special settings okay here uh, here you can change the crystal oscillator frequency to the 11.0592 okay usually we are using 11.0592 to generate the particular baud rate to our controller okay just always we are using this crystal oscillator frequency Okay, in case of debugging, this might be used, okay, ma mainly. And here uh, in output, okay, here you can select the folder. For example, my uh, program, I'm storing it here currently. Okay, for example, if you want to store to desktop, here also you can also move to the uh, cursor to the desktop. For example, I am trying to move my control to the desktop. So that here you can uh, create your uh, executable uh, uh, folders uh, there you can store our executables okay uh, just i am creating a new folder like exe okay executable i am just uh, trying to store it here that's why i'm selling it selecting it here okay here uh, my program will be stored here okay initially i am not selecting this one creating executable okay just i am uh, doing the second step okay for example if i am going to my uh, folder what i have created executable folder so i i does not see any dot uh, exe uh, file here okay for example if i want to generate dot executable file so go to the output create ex, ex file okay Th this we need to select otherwise our uh, hex file won't be generated in the out folder okay that's why here we need to click on and just press okay then if you press the second option then we will get the executable this is our program file this we can flash to our rom memory Okay, this uh, will be executed our uh, microcontroller by step by step using the uh, our 805 microcontroller. Okay, and also uh, already we discussed about this IDE. We can also debug step by step. Okay, here I am just going to the debug option. 
okay the running code will be within this uh, 2k of b of memory okay this id is allowing up to 2k b that is a warning okay here you can take the peripheral right now i am working with the port 2 okay first we'll understand the dot c programming this is embedded c okay import a register uh, 52.h for example if i want to use uh, this port 2 in my program this header file should be included okay next void main and this is our main program this is my open and close braces here while one means always my while one is true i am going inside port 2 i am assigning with 00 why because here i want to turn off the this complete port so that i am writing with 00 initially all port logics are logic 1 just i am writing with the logic zeros to the complete port okay if i am just uh, i have enabled my debug option here we can go step by step okay here uh, i can execute the step by step my program here see here my complete port was clear to zero okay initially for example again i have stopped okay again i have executed i am going to debug session again okay the running code should be okay this id is allowing our code limit up to only 2kb if you want to flash up to 4 kilobytes of memory then we need to upgrade that uh, kill uh, officially okay here i went to the debug option initially my port logics are all are high if you see all the ticks means all are high for example if i want to turn off this logics to zero so that i am writing to port 2 with 00 just i am going to the next step see here all the port 2 uh, bits are cleared it's it is zero i am initializing with port 2 here this 0x0 is written to the port 2 that means uh, directly this uh, all the port pins are cleared to zero okay if you see assembly program see here here i am just clearing the accumulator that accumulator cleared one i am just passing to the port 2 okay here the similar way uh, just i am clearing the accumulator the zero value i am passing to the port 2 and here the sm just i am executing multiple times here the while one means nothing but sm short jump okay uh, after the executing this instruction again i will go back to the while one okay this will be repeated my execution okay these are only two instruction was generated from this dot uh, c file this is my assembly finally from this assembly we are generating the dot executable Okay, first dot c will be converted to dot uh, assembly from the assembly we will get the finally executable uh, okay hex code okay that hex code if you see now it should be generated output why because here we have already selected our option to generate the executable okay i have created executable from this program okay if i flash this program to our uh, this uh, proteus 8 my led should be off just i am selecting my program here program file we can select from here okay just double click and go to the desktop i have exe folder okay that my hello dot x i am just selecting and i am just running my uh, microcontroller okay if you see here blue means turned off okay initially if i if i am not flashing any program my led is turn off okay here i i wrote some piece of code to turn off my port to that's why i am just ri writing with zero zero see if the blue uh, dot means all are logic zero okay i'm just sending the logic zero means zero volts to the led this is off okay that's that's all friend i think we have uh, discussed about the uh, what is the use of the uh, proteus 8 and also kill microvision this is the id we can write uh, the specific program and after the writing our specific program once uh, we can we are able to generate the executable that executable we can flash it here and we can check the behavior in real time manner by using this protea set okay these are mainly useful uh, mainly useful of uh, this microvision is the uh, mainly to generate the executable and also write the code and also debug step by step okay thank you friends thank you for watching